Tropical Six on air. And welcome back to this Let's Play Tropico 6. Our little, our little island is starting to get bigger. We are prepared for invasion, my governor. And here they come. I hope they are slow, so we can snipe them from afar. Our guard towers work, governor. We can defend ourselves. Hurrah! I have waited for this struggle all my life. No longer will we take instructions from others. We will have the freedom to make our own bad decisions, to squabble amongst ourselves. Ten revolutionary oh, immigrants. Governor, you look so pretty today. Oh, sorry, I have been bleeding a little since I was shot, and my head feels very light. But you are right, work comes first. You must please your people to secure their support for when you proclaim independence. And this is necessary before the crown has your guilt. Which method will you use to shower happiness upon your people? Have an average food of 50. Well, we've already got the liberty. Liberty! So yeah, we'll go for liberty. It is time. We no longer whisper, but rather shout the revolution from the rooftops today. We demand uh, politely to be free. So we turn to you, Governor, and ask, will you declare independence from the Crown? If you think you have enough support, throw off the shackles of servitude, then claim your peace in the place in the history books. Proclaim independence and reward us win Something the game. Does not feel quite right, Governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. <gasps> yes, that sounds good. And well, it's only fair the crown receives all our exports. We are, as we are a colony, perhaps we could make a change if we weren't governed with an iron fist. I can't help but notice that the will of the people is leaning in. Shall we say a more independent direction? Have a revolution appeal of 50, uh, 60. Have a percentage of the population supporting the revolution. So we just need to get two more revolution appeal. With the new immigrants, well, that shouldn't that be hard. Are filled with bile. Their hate of the crown is making them sick. Or perhaps it is the wrong. We must defend ourselves, Governor. If the people are to support you, they must be sure of their own safety. Build the people a mighty fort, Governor, and in time, perhaps history will report that you fought might. You fought mightily for the people, because history has terrible grammar. I thought something was good there. Let's plus five. Ah, I've already got one. People are very happy with their fort, Governor, and hope they never have. This oh, is the fort do the same as it did in the old one? Give you an extra unit. Attack, defend buildings, engage attackers. Upgrades, modernized weaponry, national efficiency information. Provides infantry squad. Yeah, it does the same as it did in the last one. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to. Right, now I just need to new task. The people of Tropical love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite taste. Well, I could easily afford to pay, but where would the fun in that be? Actually, you know what? Just in case. Save me! <laughs> Over right. Okay, back, slow things down. Okay, new task. And prepare for war! Revolution! Feisty little colony, aren't we? We'll try not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. Here's how this works. I give you a piece of paper which says we're going to invade, and you have a very short time period to regret your ill-judged decision. Then our navy overruns your pathetic defenses with superior discipline, weaponry, and haircuts. Perhaps we'll meet again at your execution, Governor? Except... Right, so I've got my towers, I've got my four... I should have a small unit inside the palace as well. More guards? Yay, give me more guards, we could use them. Palace upgrade with more guards. 
Anything else we need to do? I don't think so. Not much point in adding any more economy or anything because we're just about to win this level. That is a while till it happens, so we'll build that chapel for them. So they're relatively happy over there, chapel wise. Uh, or is this just beautification? Must be placed on land. Well, no, I really wanted to place it there. Silly having it up there, there's not much people. Stick it there. Doesn't really, it feels weird sticking it there, but it feels sillier. We've already got two chapels here. More chapels than there is. There's, I don't know, more chapels than there is. I don't know, I can't think of anything witty to see there. Well, there is a lot of chapels. Speed things up. We shall fight them on the bridges. We shall fight them from the rooftops. Hey, wait a minute. This is kind of like the opposite. Viva la revolution! Together, Governor Ju I. Ten random revolution. Okay. Not that bothered about trade routes anymore. Come on! Is there a way? Can you just say do it now? Hmm. Claim independence to win the game. Yep, just got the two missions left. Select El Presidente. Control view. Just have a weed nosy in the build. Oh, that pauses time. Well, we're not doing that then, are we? Can we do as we're waiting? Error outline. That pauses it too. Now then, I am the infamous revolution. Now then, you should know who I am. Lord ah, okay. I, I didn't know you could go this. The now then, mission outline. Pronto of the Caribbean overview. Uh -huh. burr, 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 burr. I wonder how long Penelope was meant to have spent on this island. I don't have to build I the giant next west. Governor, do the ends. Construction. Do we have a tavern here? Yeah, I think that's one there. Now get one over here. That's there. Ah, we're barely halfway. Bam, bam. What can we do? I want to build defenses and do stuff like that, but it's just going to make it take longer. Frames were derping a wee bit there. This is a nice game. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glory. More revolutionaries. I don't know why that would help. That'd probably hurt in the long run now. Very pretty game. This was pointless, was it not? Come on, how are you? Oh, we're nearly there. We're getting close. We're getting close. Come on. 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 Prepare for war. We are prepared. I have three towers and a fort. That should be enough, hopefully. And if we get our butt kicked, we've got to save. And we'll just pay them because I'm a scrub. Governor, the people have a request. But this cannon will do its job, it'll fire. I wish I could. Oh, you can. I wonder, does the cannon actually fire? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. He's manning the cannon. 20. Oh, we're nearly there. Prepare for war. Tropical is attacked by the crown. A 
Oh wow. There's not that many of them. And uh, they're kind of on the wrong island. So if this is like the last one, it's just a matter of surviving the attack. And to survive the attack, I just gotta make sure they don't destroy our main building here. Oh look, see we've got my unit. There's only four members of it. Uh-oh. And then I've got my other unit. I've got the four units. So I've got two units of four, they've got two units of four. Together, govern. And I've got my towers. It's a wee bit weird. Is that some of them there? What is that? That's a freer. It's just a freer. It's a wee bit weird that they're over here. An attack in tavern. Let's take a look. Range 300, speed 740, damage per unit 2.5 to 4.1, hit points per unit 200. Compared to mine, range 3000, speed 740, 2.9 to 4.3. I think mine's slightly better. Yeah, it's slightly better than the damage and that's it in speed. But, my units seem to be coming in piecemeal. Whereas they're all there at once, that's what'll... Let them win. But I've still got my towers, I've got to get through my towers too, as well as my troops. I can't manually control. They're attacking the building, so maybe I'll attack them as they attack the building. What do my troops look like? Are they still attacking the building, or...? They have changed to me, it looks like. And this unit's coming over to help them. Yep, ah, it's two on one! Ah, now with a man down! See, this is what's not fair. Mine's coming piecemeal. And this unit's gonna get wiped out just in time for this unit to come in and get themselves wiped out. We took down one of them. <sighs> Silly men. What's their next target? I doubt they'll get through the towers. Right, let's speed this up. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much. Right, we nearly took out one unit. Where are they going? Oh, they're attacking these buildings now. Come on, they don't. Why did they even? There was no way they'd go after this. Okay, that's a gripe I've got about the game so far. They should have sailed straight down. And attack the main. Oh, what's this? Another unit coming in? Where'd you come from? There's four of them again. From the fort. Take it the fort got... They, when they died, it got replaced. Our revolution is as yet only margin. We are losing some people, so... Watch, it'll be the full unit here. No, it's the one dude on his own. Hey, at least it's the even fight now. They had a slight advantage because I was already hurt from fighting the other people, but I had a slight damage buff. No. Nah. Oh well. Two on two. One on one. Corruption is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how... We'll just accept it and not finish well, it. I suppose you did rather well for a bunch of savages. We're not allowed to call this independence, though. The Foreign Office is going to announce a new member of the Crown's glorious Commonwealth. Our friends of the, in the Republic of Tropico will join in our ever-growing family of ahem, historically connected trading partners. Then, I'm on to the next post as a special envoy to the Archduke of Austria-Hungary. Sounds safe enough. Yeah! 
Yeah, you go. That sounds really safe. You go do that. My heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time. Governor, you did it. At last, let us savor the sweet taste of freedom. Mmm. Mmm. It, it tastes a bit like coconut. Congratulations, Presidente. We trust you to guide us now. We know that you could be fair and just, and that you would never use your power for your own profit or advantage. The people sing in the streets that will be the fa you'll be the fairest Presidente of them all. Yeah. That's a nice touch. That's actually my city. And so, the story is told. That is how we met, Presidente. The most important time of my life. I still have the assassin's bullets, you know. I keep them close to my heart. Who would imagine that such a story would be only a minor chapter in somebody's life? But you, most celebrated Presidente, your life has seen adventure enough for a hundred normal people. A thousand! But those are stories for another day. Now old Penultimo is tired. Old Penultimo will sleep and dream of your past glories, my Presidente. Level one completed. You have done it, Presidente. Victory is ours. I mean, victory is yours. Nobody doubted that you would succeed, Presidente. The least of all your loyal Penultimo. But seeing you scale the dizzy heights of this accomplishment is enough to make me swoon. If only this were a game, I wish for some kind of endless mode so that I could go on and on forever. But alas, it is merely real life. Says, unaware, right? Go to level two. So yeah, we've completed the first level and that's unlocked us these four so we start off in the world wars eras for this oh this one goes to both this one's going to be further this one mission focus pirate raids so i think we'll go to this one speakeasy tells the thrilling crime story of smuggling rum for the broker during the times of prohibition and dealing with master criminals well the Allies want El Presidente to set up a system of crime and punishment to catch their public number, enemy number one, the Kingpin. So yeah, difficulty normal, custom rules, low crime safety, criminals and Swiss bank money. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's start the speakeasy mission number two. This in the key to continue. Do you remember, Presidente, that time between world wars when the Allies nearly declared war on us? How we laughed. Smuggling rum for a master criminal was no more than a hobby, really. For even the most masterful of master criminals is small fry to you. But Bad luck knows no etiquette, and we soon discovered that he was number one on the Allies' wanted list. So began our crash course in crime and punishment. Seems like a nice starting place. It's got lots of land to expand into. Time is precious, Presidente. Especially your time, as you are the busy leader of a nation, and not just a child. Playing in a sandbox. Oh, you cut deep, Penultimo. As your ever subservient assistant, I took the freedom to prepare a humble draft of Tropical Constitution to save some of your precious time. You still need to sign it, though, maybe between the second breakfast and your pre brunch nap. No pressure. Except. Right, we uh, don't have much here, all citizens vote looks about right. And armed forces militia. Presidente, Wait, what, my what? client, a successful and exceedingly legitimate businessman, wants us to be friends. I've lost my mouse there for a second. Our journey to friendship starts small, but ends 
with us sitting together on our once huge and our huge pail of money, starting into the sunset, and have basically have four sugar plantations. I would love to do that. That'll make me money. So where was the constitution? Oh well, we'll confirm changes. Oh, that's how you change it. Oh well, is it the default? Research. Clinic. Yeah, we definitely want a clinic. Oh, we already started with clinics. Okay, house. House work modes. So yeah, work modes for the house. Prohibition. Else the bullets. Literacy program sounds like a nice dick. We'll get that. Trade. There's lots more people now. Broker. Hey, look, it's this broker. guy. I guess I had another name. Do any of these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. There is, uh, of course, so you can just acquire the blueprint for the Opera House. Ten religious stand. Oh, that's quite cool. Exchanges, dollars, knowledge, three points, requests. That's nice to know. Era outline. Missions outline. What's that? Oh, Presidente. That's a relief. For a second there, I thought you were the Hun. <laughs> Can't be too careful. That's what the propaganda says, and I should know. I write it. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Pour yourself a drink. I'm Winton Mulberry. Very pleased to meet you. Perhaps you can help me lose this damned war a little slower. Eh? I like this guy already. Do not be concerned by my physical severity, Presidente. I have a condition of the face muscles, which means that I cannot smile. Nevertheless, our relationship shall be a friendly one. It is preferable that what benefits the Axis benefits Tropical. However, if for some reason it does not, you shall comply anyway. Hmm? In this way, we shall be friendly. Yeah? Okay. Capitalist. I'll be with you in a minute, Presidente. I'm just counting my money. <laughs> Only joking. I wouldn't be with you in this lifetime if I had to count my fortune first. Mason Belmonte is the name, and money loves me, Presidente. And you know what? The more I have, the more I want. Okay. Communists. The comrades wish me to introduce you to all of them personally, Presidente, because none of us are more important than the others. But that would take a long time, so I will somehow strive to represent all of the comrades all of the time. I am not Marco Moreno, proud communist and family man. No, I am the very will of the people. Let me guess. You're thinking, f a nun. <laughs> Oh, I better not swear. You have no idea what a sister of the Order of the Howling Skull is, do you, Presidente? Or how one wound up on your tropical island, ministering to her flock? I'm Sister Francesca, and I've walked a long path to enlightenment with Faith as my guide. But that's a different story. I don't think she's going to like us, this, because I see excessive alcohol. Do not fear the sanctity of your borders, Presidente, for I, General Rodrigo Rodriguez, lead your army. The very model of a modern armchair general, my lack of direct wartime experience gives me the edge, as my stratagems are completely unadulterated by any knowledge of past battles. I can therefore guarantee that the enemy will be surprised. You know, he kinda has a point. Not a very good one, but he does have a point. Right. Let's get started to work on some sugar plantations. Sugar plantations. Seems like a nice spot over here for some sugar plantations. Just gonna cut into it, so. And. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Sugar plantations. Instructions. Plantations. Sugar. That's gonna fit there just. I had just enough room for the three there. And we should worry about food, I suppose. 
not ranch. Construction plantations. Corn's not that great. What about bananas? Uh, bananas. We can maybe squeeze one in somewhere. Oh, we got some. Yeah, we got like our port over here. We got like two sections to this settlement. Like our main establishment in that here. Random tower up on the top of our road for no reason. Pineapple looks half decent here. Only goes to 98%. Tobacco. Coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. coffee. Cotton. Rubber. Corn. We look, didn't we? Bananas. Hmm. I don't see that much good ways of making food. You know what, instead? We're gonna go... Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, lovely. There we go, that'll provide us some food. I just don't like the way that road is. Oh well, I just won't look at it. Let's take all the way look over here. Why did it go? Ah, right. Is that? That's not close enough. I can't. No, I can't. <sighs> there we go. That'll do. That doesn't look bad. What other types of food can we get? Oh well, coconut harvester. Be coconut harvester somewhere. I'm working on a lot of food at the moment. Up there beside El Presidente. Yeah. Because I'm thinking the right the way I like to work is you work on a lot of food at the beginning, then you can sell the food and you can make money. So you're getting money anyway. And then as you build up your other industries, the food will slowly take over feeding your populace instead of making money. And what was uh, yeah. And your other industries will make you money. What are these? Oh, we got long camps. We already start off with industry the and lumber mill. From the palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. <laughs> I like that. We are definitely winning the war. Keep uh, keep track to see which side we are currently on. <laughs> Ah, oh, brilliant. Where did I get my... I didn't think I got my... Coconut harvester, did I? Yeah, we'll just pop it up here. Good day to you, Presidente. I wonder if you could help me with a little problem. Yo, oh, no. Nothing like that. Though it does sting when I cough. A master criminal, known only as... The big enchilada is hiding out in one of your islands. He's a thorn in our side for the la side in the last war, and we're keen to lock him up. If you can offer, if you can offer help to start appreciating surveillance facilities, have free watchtowers, blueprint the police station. Not bad. How much money do we have? We have absolutely tons. So you know what? We're gonna go and we're gonna quick build. Some of this stuff. My client has a strong interest in rum, President Day, or an interest in strong rum. Either way, you've the means to make the product. We will do that shortly. We'll be able to get the second factory. Oh no, that requires electricity. Uh oh. I didn't realize the saw upgrade was going to make it go. I need electricity! Paper industry. Can I not just turn off that upgrade? If I take a look at statistics and efficiency, does that mean it turns. Can I turn off this upgrade? Efficiency is at 100. So can it work the same as it did without the upgrade? Without. I hope so. 
Ah, here we go. This is where. Parking, bus garage. Electric station. But no... I've not unlocked any power sources yet. Tourist access cars. Limits pollution. Decreases crime safety around. Comes with two bus stops. A buses will transport passengers between both stops. Emits a little pollution. That's not a bad idea. I might get a bus station. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. We need to expand our little settlement of houses and stuff up here too, because I see shacks around. We've got not got enough people either. Upgrades. Increases efficiency of nearby plantations. Several plantations with a cap up to 20%. Okay. Boom. Oh, Cold Wars. We don't have that yet. It decreases the upgrade for nearby ranches and factories by 3%. I suppose we'll get that. Does it stack? I don't say it stacks, but we'll grab... Green Waste Chopper. And we might get a ranch down here, see what ranches we can get, and then we'll get the rum factory nearby there. And we'll start, is this a, oh yes, we do have a parking deck. And is that a bus garage? Oh, this island's brilliant. They've set everything up for me right off the get-go. I need to do next to nothing. And literally, as it said, you focus on the crime and all that, and that's it. But yes, I think we're gonna be calling this apart. So I hope you have all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. We're, we're going to continue on with this game. Bye, bye, everyone. I'll see you all there. Bye, bye.